GTA 5 solo car droop glitch working after the Christmas update. To start this glitch, you want to wear the scuba suit, and as soon as your feet touch the water, equip any saved outfit. Once you guys do that, you guys want to sign up as a secure server MC style, and as you guys can see, when you go once to the left and right, you should see your scuba suits duplicating. Once you guys have not done that, you're going to make your way all the way to your auto shop. At your auto shop, you want to have your MOC parked near it. And after that, you guys also want to have the car that you don't care about losing in the back of your MOC. So I'm going to say that one more time. The car that's in the back of your MOC is the car that you don't care about losing. And another requirement with this glitch as well is that you want to be in a public session. And the session in that session, someone must own the same auto shop as you, which is not even that hard to do. Because every session I join, someone owns the same auto shop as me. And lastly, your auto shop must be full. Anyways, once you have taken out the car you don't care about losing out of your MOC, you guys are basically going to throw a grenade at this blue circle. And as soon as you throw the grenade at the blue circle, right, you're going to click pause and then X. So as you guys can see, we're just going to wait for this car to go by. Click R1 to throw it. And as you guys can see, it should say enter uh, your auto shop or whatever. Click pause and then X. If you don't have the menu of it saying enter your auto shop or enter another auto shop, that means someone in that session doesn't own the same auto shop as you, meaning you're going to have to join a new session. But basically, all we did there was throw the grenade, we go to the screen and then click pause and X at the same time. Well, not the same time, but just click pause and then X. Now, from here, we're going to be calling out an issue from our office garage one. It doesn't matter where the issue is from, just call it out from anywhere. Anyways, once you guys have now done that, guys, what you want to do is, is basically wait for, it, wait for it to be called in. And now once you guys have waited for it to be called in, you guys are either going to open up your interaction menu or phone. So right now, I'm going to be opening up my interaction menu. From here, guys, you're going to hop in the car, right? Now, once you hop in the car, still have your interaction menu, um, interaction menu opened out. And basically, you're going to drive into the back of your MOC. And as soon as your, ca like your car is on that blue circle, you let go of it, just like this. So as you guys can see right now, we go to our MOC, right? And basically, you let go of the interaction menu. And what should happen is it should drag you in. And I know you're going to be like, well, in the gameplay right now, it doesn't drag you in. Well, the whole purpose of me leaving this in the video is just to show you guys, because if I didn't leave this in the video and I just like cut it out and just showed it worked first try, I already know all the comments are going to be like, oh, this is fake. This is that. So I decided to leave this in the video and just show you guys what to do if this happens. So let's just say if you don't get dragged in the MOC like me to fix this whole issue, you're just going to have to repair your LG and then restart the process. But if you are dragged inside of your MOC with the issue, then just skip to like the last part of the video, like the end, and then you guys can continue on watching. But like I said, guys, I'm only leaving this part in the video just to show you guys that let's just say if it doesn't work first try, this is proof, no cuts in the video. Um, this is how you fix the issue and just to show you guys that like, you know, what I mean, sometimes it might not always work first try. But anyways, um, so this is the second time I'm going to do it, right? We're just going to do that same thing like we did before. You basically throw the grenade, right? And then you click pause and then X. So right now we're going to go back to the blue circle, right? We're going to um, click R1, right? And then after we're going to drive up to it. And then we're going to click pause and then X. And basically what's going to happen is, you know, your car's going to explode, right? After your car explodes, we're going to do that same thing all over again. And I'm going to say that one more time, guys. You're only going to have to do this, obviously, if you didn't get dragged in MOC. And once again, I obviously could have easily cut that out of the video. But I can guarantee you right now, if I like recorded this video and just said, oh, look, I hit it on my first try, everyone's going to comment, oh, well, I did, um, well, it didn't drag me in the MOC. This is fake. This is that. So that's why I left it in. Anyways, keep track, guys. I called this in from our office garage one, by the way. The EC right now I'm calling in is from our office garage one. There's no cuts in this video. Just to show you guys proof at the end of the video that the car has been duplicated. Anyways, on our second try now, this is where we actually hit it. You guys are going to go back in the EC and make sure your interaction menu is out before hopping in. So right now, I'm not in the car yet, but my interaction menu is out. Right? And from here, guys, you're going to drive to the MOC. And you're basically going to let go as soon as you get to the back of it. So right now, I'm going to just drive straight on. And as soon as I literally reach the like area of it, I let go of the interaction menu. And this time, I get dragged in, which, is, which was supposed to happen on the first time. But I didn't, it didn't drag me in on the first time. Anyways, from here, guys, what you're going to do is, is the whole, you know, scuba suit process. If you're familiar with these dupe glitches, you should know. But basically, what we're doing here is, is duplicating our scuba tanks and making it that... We're going to push so much scuba tanks down 
that were able to teleport in and out. Re- in, re- um, in reality, you don't really have to place like 30. If you place them in the right spot, you should be able to place like max five scuba suits and you should be able to teleport in and out. But it honestly depends on your whole placement. And another tip as well is obviously opening the doors. You just click triangle or Y and then just run away from the door. Because when the doors open, you can use the corner as a way, like as a barrier, basically. Not a barrier, but, you know, as a way to like stack them up. But anyways, after like, I think it took me like one minute just to stack up. Um, you basically just want to, you know, stack up your scuba tanks on the right um, angles so you can teleport in and out. And right now, what I like to do is just to make sure so I don't have to start the whole glitch over again. I just make sure I can teleport in. So right now, I'm pretty sure this is where I just test it just to make sure that I'm able to teleport in. So if you're not sure if you can teleport in and out, just click triangle, which as you guys can see, I can. So from here now, you're going to go to exit trailer and click X and triangle at the exact same time. Once you click X and triangle at the exact same time, it should give you the animation of the EC last second and you will spawn out with the EC. From here to save the car, like save the duplicate, you need to store it back in your MSC. If you don't store it back in your MSC, then you're not duplicating. It's just going to disappear. And also, guys, the number plates will change, making it a clean dupe. But you can't see my number plates because I have the rear kinetic motor on. Now, what I'm going to do now, just to show you proof that this car has been duplicated, is first of all, now we have an EC in our MOC. So the LG has now turned into an MO, um, into an EC. And now I'm going to call up the mechanic just to show you guys proof. So all the tips for this gl- um, glitch is, first of all, make sure your auto shop is full and someone must own it in the same session as you. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, to rinse and repeat, put an energy back in your MOC, blow it up and do that process. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Sub up.